Hey lug nuts, it's me Meredith here. I don't know about you, but here in Michigan, we were just issued a stay home order starting at midnight tonight. That doesn't impact my family too much. We've been staying home already for a week uh, and we're starting to get a little bit of cabin fever, but I wanted to kind of come on and talk about some of the bags I've gotten in the past couple weeks um, and give you a little walkthrough of them because it's fun to dream about getting out and using them again this spring and think about and practice packing some of them too. So today I have for you the Via Travel. Uh, you may have seen a video on a Via Tote. We may have the Via Tote. They sell them at Kohl's right now again. Um, and they're very similar bags in many ways, but the Travel is especially wide. It's much wider than the Via, and so they have more real estate to do stuff with, and that's where really the differences come in. This is dark, but it's actually the Shimmer Navy, and so it's got a really pretty sheen to it. I love how that shimmer navy just kind of looks so classy and um, classy and moody, but not overly so. I just think it's really cool. Um, the zippers are in that gunmetal color, and the lining is this bubbles um, print, which is is not a problem for me. I don't. The only thing I don't like is that when it's like you can kind of see it sometimes from here or in the back um, of it through the thing, and it, I wish it was just a little more subtle. That bubbles lining is not super subtle. So why don't we start at the front? You've got these pockets, which of course, you're, if you know the Via, you're kind of used to it. This one here has a zipper at the top, and this is RFID shielded. I feel the tag right here in the corner. Uh, the zipper is long and skinny, and then when you flip it up, there's a magnet closure here, and you do have three little ID windows and so you can put your ID in there or you can put pictures or little Bible verses or your favorite saying just in there so when you open it up you can see it and then there's a, still this pocket down below I don't feel any RFID tags in there um, so it might just be the zipper pocket that is shielded I'm not I'm not sure that's a question if you know the answer type it down below I'd love to hear from that from you about that then down here at the bottom is a zipper a big wide zipper and it opens to this insulated pocket. So this pocket, fully insulated, which is a difference from like the Via Tote. So you can put snacks in here if you are uh, need have medication that needs to be refrigerated, toss it in here with a cool pack. Um, I love having cheese sticks. It's a great snack for me and my kids, and so I love having just a real skinny um, cool pack and some cheese sticks down there. Now one of the things that the Via has had is this uh, secret place to tuck the zipper and I believe that the Via Travel also has it here to make it a little yep there you go see it's all tucked in there to make it a little bit more difficult for pickpocketers you see that it just kind of slides right down in um, another safe thing if you are traveling with medication and you're wearing this on your back tucking it in makes it easy for people not to be able to get into it for you because you really don't want them stealing your important medication at the top, of course, we have that signature phone pocket. It is fleece line, not too deep, easy to access. Um, let's, oh, before we talk about that, this is a big, big, thin compartment in here. Um, it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, a great place for like an iPad, for uh, magazines, paperwork, that sort of thing fits really well in there. Um, this is a Via Tote, it has three ways to carry it. The tote straps here, which include having this little clip. So you can clip it and it'll stay together or you can slide this down and let the tote straps fall. Um, another option alongside, along to the back side, they have backpack straps that tuck away when you're not using them. Um, there's a clip here so you can easily get at that. The puddle, no, nope, the Via 2 has backpack straps that connect here and these tuck away, which is kind of a nice feature. Here they are always outside the bag. You can't tuck those away. There's also um, a crossbody strap. And so there's loops on both sides here for you to attach the crossbody strap, which I think I left it on the inside here. Hang on. Yep. Here's my crossbody strap. Um, the strap does not come with like an extra padded section to it, but it is nice and wide and it matches the hardware and everything matches the bag. Let's do the back side and then I'll show you the inside. 
Okay, on the back, you see we've got those handle, those backpack straps tucked right in there. Um, that's actually from the backpack strap. There you go. Uh, right uh, below that is a zipper pocket that is nice and wide. And if I was carrying this on my back, I would put my wallet in here. This is a great place to hide it away. In my wallet already has RFID shielding, but it still is very easy access. I pop it off, I can pull it out, but no one can sneak it away if I'm not looking. The bottom here has their signature shoe compartment. And this is something that um, some of the newer bags, they haven't been using as often because it is a little bit limiting, but it is, if you're using this as a gym bag or a travel bag, it's kind of nice to have this option. So what it is, it's got this um, sh like webbing here to ventilate that compartment. So if you put your shoes in there or a swimsuit or something that's damp, it doesn't just keep everything humid, it's able to ventilate. And this compartment is has fabric in it. So you can put two pairs of shoes in here, but if you don't use it, the fabric just lays down and then it doesn't take up any extra space on the inside of the bag. So a handy way to have your shoes in there without having it take up too much space. However, if you have your shoes in there, you pull them out, everything falls down in your bag, and then when you put your shoes back in, you gotta finagle it, lift up everything on the inside, kind of to get your shoes kind of crammed back in there. The only bad side, but if you're using it for your shoes, I'm sure you're willing to deal with the convenience of the pocket for the inconvenience of the trying to make it work. Okay, just like the Via, this has that doctor's mouth wide opening, which means that there's a wire that goes all the way around on both sides here so that when you open it, it opens big, big and huge. And you see the light lining, that's the shoe compartment lining at the bottom. So it just can push away and then you can still reach the entire bottom. The bottom does have that cardboard covered with the lining so it's still very clean and wipeable. On the back side here, this is a fleece lined cargo pocket. This is a fleece lined cargo pocket. Then there's two pen pockets right here. Below that, that's the shoe compartment, no other organization there. On the front side, you've got a privacy zip. Oh, it goes pretty deep, my whole hand fits in there, that's kind of nice. And then one generous cargo pocket that is also fleece lined. So great place to store your electronics. Along the walls, there's no organization. Um, let's look at the sides and then the bottom. The sides here, cargo pockets on both sides, no magnets to keep them in, but they are big cargo pockets. I mean, they're really big. You could stick a pair of shoes right in there. That'd be easy. And then finally, the bottom. Four of the feet, these are smaller than I expected, about the size of a quarter. Um, for a bag this size, I would have expected them to have bigger feet. But then you also have this wipeable lining. So you can put it down on the floor uh, if you need to and not worry too much about it. So that's the Via Travel Tote. Uh, my name is Meredith. If you like my videos, please click like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear from you. Do you already have the Via Travel? What color do you have? How do you use it? Um, comment down below. Thank you.